in in time. It's classic modern gamer here and today I'm going to give you a basic guide to DVD ripping and I'll be showing you how to do it yourself. So to start us off, what is it? Well it is basically taking the DVD and transferring it to your PC. This is a simple method and is very convenient as there are all sorts of formats that can be used for this. It is as easy as putting the DVD in your computer like normal, downloading a software and letting it do the work for you. There are however some concerns about how legal all of this is, especially with the warnings at the start of every DVD, but as long as you intend to do this for your own use, it is legal so you don't need to worry if that's your case. However, if your plan is to share it with others, that's illegal and could possibly land you in trouble, so don't try it. So now let's cover how to rip your own DVD. First off, you will need to download the program Magic DVD Ripper. Ripper. I've provided a link in the description. There are other programs that could be used to rip DVDs, but I personally find this one the best. This is a trial, but fortunately a YouTube user has given us some details to let us register which is in the link below, so I'd like to say thanks to them for letting us register and unlock the full version of Magic DVD Ripper for us. Okay, so I've got a DVD put into my laptop now, um, I've got the woman in black. So we are going to rip that onto my PC as an example. So once you, you've downloaded Magic DVD Ripper, open it up like I'm doing. Just give it a moment. And then this is just it checking for the DVD's contents. And then we've got all these options here. So you select the DVD source here, so like it will automatically recognize if you put a new disc in. You can say where you want the movie to go here, so click browser and choose where you want to go. Here you can choose which title it is. You're gonna there aren't like any thumbnails or anything, so you're gonna have to work out for yourself which ones there are. But generally the one which is the longest is usually is the main film. You can choose the audio settings. Um, now the output profile here, there's quite a few things you can do for here, there's like lots of different profiles here so you can put it into an AVR, you could put it into an iPod format, you could put it into a PSP3 format. Something else which I've got to mention is that with the output bit, you see there's the edit option here, if you click that, that this is where you can edit all of your settings for your video so you can change the resolution of it the bit rate and the audio rate now if you don't know what the bit rate are it's it's basically sort of like the quality of it so the video bit rate would be like the quality of the video and the audio bit rate would be the quality of the audio so if you have a higher bit rate it will be higher quality but take up more space and it'll be the same thing with like resolution so if you have a higher resolution it will take more space so when you're ripping your film if you want to do it in one of these formats like AVI toy around with the settings and see which ones you like so I'm gonna do original MPEG-2 for an example which this profile what it does is it it rips it onto my computer at the same bitrate, at the same settings as you would if you were playing the actual DVD on your computer. So it would be the same settings. So let's just call it example. Now, excuse my bad typing. And then we click start. Then ripping usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes so I'm just gonna wait here and I'll start the video again once it's done so as you can see this is the finished film playing now so as you can see it it works and it's in good quality so I hope you found this tutorial useful um, you can 
use this for other formats as well. You don't have to do it based on the settings I've done. And I'll see you another time. So goodbye and thanks for watching. And remember to like, comment and subscribe.